first introduced in 1643 to help fund the Civil War, our alcohol duty system is outdated, complex and full of historical anomalies. For example, sparkling wines currently pay 28% more duty than still wines, despite being no more alcoholic. And cider made with anything other than apples or pears pays two to three times as much. That's why I've just announced the most radical simplification of alcohol duties for over 140 years. As part of this historic overhaul, we're taking five steps to create a system that's simpler, fairer and healthier. First, to radically simplify the system, we're slashing the number of main duty bands from 15 to just six. Our new system will be designed around a common sense principle. The stronger the drink, the higher the rate. This means that some drinks like fortified red wines or high strength white ciders, which are known to harm public health and enable problem drinking, will see a small increase in their rates because they are currently under tax given their strength. But it also means that under our new system, many lower alcohol drinks such as rosé, fruit ciders, liqueurs, lower strength beers and wines have been overtaxed and now they're all going to pay less. Second, to benefit small innovative craft producers, we've announced proposals for a new small producers relief. That will include for the first time cider. Next, we are cutting red tape and radically simplifying the way businesses register and pay for alcohol duty, bringing the outdated paper-based system into the modern era. Fourth, we're updating the system to reflect modern tastes. Popular sparkling wines will now pay the same duty as still wines of equivalent strength. For a typical English sparkling wine, one of our own great growth markets, this will cut the price of a bottle by as much as 64p. Finally, we are taking action to directly support pubs through a new draft relief, which will apply a new lower rate of duty on draft beer and cider. It will particularly benefit community pubs who do 75% of their trade on draft. And it will cut duty by 5%. These much needed reforms will come into effect in February 2023 but to help the industry now, we are scrapping the planned increase in duty on spirits like Scotch whiskey, wine, cider, and beer. Cheers to that.